years ago you learned how to write a sentence? Mm -hmm. The cat was driving the car. Uh, so your main idea here is that there's an animal and it's in a car. So at primary school you just had to have an idea and it had to be doing something and it needed a capital letter, which I'm a bit over explaining, and it needed a full stop. Okay. Moving further on, as you learn to write better, your sentences need to become more complex. So to start off with, very, very simply, this is the subject. So whether it's your cat, whether it's one of my useless cats, this is the simple predicate, okay. or the thing it's doing or being. So this is also a predicate but it's a more complicated one. This has nothing to do with the subject. This is what's happening. This is the action. So in your first sentence of whatever it is you're writing, you have to have a subject and it cannot be a pronoun at your age, when you get really sophisticated and you're writing all sorts of weird things. You can write uh, whatever you like. But anyway, so the cat was driving the car. The cat was happy. Driving the car. Now, there's our subject. <laughs> there is our predicate. You can't point to the cat and say that he is like doing happy. So you're not looking for those verbs that you're used to, like running or jumping or whatever. This is a state of being, they call it happy. The cat was happy. Now if in my next sentence I wrote, the cat ran over the dog. Why? If you said the cat was happy, the cat ran over the dog, and this was your writing, and that's what you were reading, the cat was driving the car, the cat was happy, the cat ran over the dog, are you going to get a little bit bored? Yeah. Okay. You want to know why? Was it a revenge attack? Was it political? Was it religious? Right? Was it socioeconomic? Bad driver. So you're probably going to do some editing and you're going to get to use one of those um, pronouns. He was happy. But then if you put he there, you've kind of got the same problem, haven't you? Mm -hmm. He was happy. He ran over the dog. Too many he's. What can we do to make our writing a little bit better? Making sure that we've got subjects and predicates. What could we do? How could we make this a bit better? The donkey. It's actually quite a simple fix and you've been doing it for quite a while. You could give the cat, but you have to do it right back at the beginning. Very simply, all we could do is go and then he ran over the dog. So, how many 